Yes, crew, welcome to day 10 of the core challenge. This one is one of my favorites because we're really gonna smoke out those obliques and they will be singing at you tomorrow. Now, you're just gonna need a medium dumbbell or a kettlebell, either will work perfectly. You just need a little bit of weight. All right, let's get into it. Okay, holding the weight in your right hand, feet are about shoulder width apart. You can have a little bend in the knees. I am gonna mirror you the whole time. So fingertips to your temples and take a side bend, tracing that weight down the outside of your thigh and then exhale, squeeze into the side bend the other way. Now you can make this a little bit harder by reaching the arm up and over to get a greater stretch through the oblique so you get greater work and range of motion. Maintain that little bend in the knees so we keep any tension or pressure out of your lower back and we keep it in those muscles in the obliques. Good, inhale as you go over, exhale as you squeeze into it. Nearly there, three, two, and one. Good, okay, the arm that was moving is the one that's gonna come down to the floor. So your left forearm is down on the ground. Top leg is in front, underneath leg is back. We are in a side plank, three, two, one. Okay, lower your hips down to the floor, just a light touch, and then scoop the oblique. Try and think about tucking it into that base rib and then back down. Exhale, every time you lift those hips up as high as possible. Now your top arm can be wherever you want it to be. I like to hold on to my hips so I get that physical feedback to know that my hips are staying stacked on top of one another. At the same time, you're pushing that base elbow down into the ground. So forearm goes down, hips go up. Three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, coming into a high plank position, we're gonna take slow, twisted mountain climbers. Okay, spread the fingertips, create a nice, strong, stable base. One leg goes back, scoop the abdominals in, and join the other foot. Shoulders are right on top of those wrists. And squeeze opposite knee to opposite elbow. Touch, and then back, and touch and back. Now try and twist the hips as much as possible. Really think about chiseling that waist. Twist and back. Breathing through the movement. Exhale as that knee comes forward. Inhale as you're back in that plank position. Keep those hips in line. Don't let the hips Lift up when the foot goes back down. Three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna reverse the order. So we're gonna do side plank and then the standing oblique. So now you have your right forearm down, top leg in front to keep those hips in line. Three, two, one, and we are in. Okay, lower those hips down. Just do a light touch and squeeze up as high as you can. Down and squeeze up. Inhale the hips lower, exhale to scoop them up. Good work, 20 more seconds in this. Doing well squad. Feel those sides really work. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one, okay, relax. All right, picking the weight up in your left hand this time. Mirror me if you are facing me, and fingertips are coming to your temples. Little bend in the knees to prepare. Here we go, take it over, and exhale, squeeze. Your option was to extend that arm up and over to get a deeper stretch, to get a bigger stretch, so you gain more range of motion for your contraction. Keep those knees 
ever so slightly bent. Especially if you have any hyperextension in your legs, you're gonna be tempted just to sit back into your sway backs, keep them soft. Good, three, two, and one. Nice work, all right, let's repeat all of that again. So just switching the weight around to the other side. Okay, now if you didn't try the arm reach on that first round, why not have a go now and take it over. Now I want everybody trying to reach just a little bit further down the leg this time round. Good, big reach. And over, try and stretch the arm. Stretch the arm, pull down. So stretch it, then lead with the elbow. Use the elbow to pull and contract into that other side. creating as much motion, as much movement as you can. Five more seconds. Go on, squeeze, three, two, one. Good work. All right, drop that weight down, coming in to that side plank position. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, stack your feet up on top of one another. Three, two, one, lift up. Okay, the feet stacked, just make it tiny bit harder but the most important thing is that your hips are level so if you stack the, the feet on top of another and that means that your hips twist open to the ceiling then please separate the feet back out because it's more important to have the hips in line so you can really get into the oblique good work more seconds. Doing well, keep it strong. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Coming into those slow twisted mountain climbers. Okay, stable base, shoulders right on top, eyes of the elbows facing one another. Here we go. And twist and back. Twist and back. Now we can make it a little bit harder by twisting, lowering the knee to the wrist, up to the elbow and back. Twist, lower the knee to the wrist, up to the elbow, back. Woo! Oh yeah, feeling this one. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Side plank on the other side. Okay, try and match what you did on the other side. So if you stack the feet, stack them again this time. Three, two, and one. Hips as high as you can get them. And lower. And lift. find you're getting a lot of shoulder tension you could try opening your forearm up to about 45 degrees that externally rotates your shoulder slightly which means you're able to engage your lats a little bit more to support that shoulder joint okay so a little adjustment that you can do in any of your side planks if it helps okay so it's about finding the right modifications to suit you and your body. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, last and final one. Side bend, other side. So holding it in your left hand. I have to think about that then. Softies, here we go. Reach it over and exhale, squeeze. And reach over. Maybe you're trying to trace down your leg just a little bit lower. Try not to hold the breath. Try and keep the inhale continuous and exhale. It's on that inhale that we tend to hold the breath as we reach over and exhale, pull. Keep the inhale going. 
and then yeah that's the one good less than 10 good three two finish it one Woo! all right team well done okay you are gonna feel those sides tomorrow you're welcome okay we've done enough side stretching just take a few rotations just to release out the back and sometimes what is nice but doesn't look so pretty is just a couple of hip circles just to release any tension in the back especially if your hips were twisting open a little bit in those side planks you would have taken a little bit of tension in the back so just a couple of hip circles can release it all out squad thank you for joining let me know how you found it in the comments and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>